All right, so here's a fun scenario to break down. I've just played my tee shot. I played it from this direction. I left it way out to the right and my ball came to rest in one of the most awkward positions possible right next to this tree. You can see our direction of play with the green and the flag up there. And I'm in a pretty tough situation because I don't have much of a shot. I can still advance this ball, no problem. It's still reasonable for me to play this ball, but I'm very limited in my options. So at this point, all I'm trying to do is advance the ball maybe 20 or 30 yards and give myself a chance for an up and down. The problem that I don't like though, is that any swing with any meaningful force, I'm gonna run the risk of injury or even breaking my club, even just trying to advance at 20 or 30 yards. So sometimes we have to get a little creative. Sometimes we have to play a left-handed shot. So there's no rules against me playing a left-handed shot as a right-handed player. We just have to fairly strike the ball, which means that we're using the head of the club to make contact with the ball, but we can use any part of that head of the club to make contact. That could be toe, the face obviously, heel, or even the back of the club. So as I go to address this ball, what's interesting though is I'm standing on the cart path. And believe it or not, I am entitled to relief from this cart path. And that makes things interesting because I'd like to see where relief would put my ball because it could give me a better shot. The only condition is that I must take relief as a left-handed player. So when we find relief here, we're gonna do it as we normally would. So we're gonna find the nearest point of relief. From that spot, we get one club length relief area. So I'm gonna clear uh, the path right here, make sure my stance is not does not have any interference and I'm going to simulate taking my next shot. You don't have to simulate this and go through the motion of this, but it is recommended. So if I were to hit my ball having complete relief, uh, my ball will actually technically would be inside of this tree. And that can happen sometimes, and it's not a big deal. There will be times when your nearest point of relief, you can't figure out exactly because it could be in a tree or in a deep bush or in some other obscure place. When that happens, all we have to do is estimate as best we can where that spot is. So for us, our spot's gonna be down on the ground inside of that tree, right about there, okay? So from that spot, I'm gonna measure one club length. One club length is the longest club that you have in your bag that's not your putter. For most of us, that's our driver. So I'm gonna take this driver right here. I'm gonna make sure I'm not going any closer to the hole. And then I'm going to measure one club length. And we're gonna to try to get this as close as we can using our best judgment. And I think that's about right, right there. My nearest point would be somewhere inside of this tree right there. So there's my one club length and we are no closer. Okay, I can actually go up a little bit further here with my ball because of the tree right there. So I'm gonna put a tee down right there, okay? You don't have to mark your reference area with tees, but it is a good idea, especially in situations like this, to ensure accuracy. Now also remember, we do get a full club length all the way around. So we're gonna take that into consideration as well. But um, I like where this is going. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my ball here. I don't need to mark this ball when I pick it up. Um, now I can clean it if I want to or substitute it for another ball. I'm gonna come over here and uh, evaluate what's going on. I'm gonna drop it correctly from knee height. And it took a bad bounce, but it actually worked out pretty well because now I've got a full swing. I have no interference by any trees or branches, and I've got an absolute perfect gap to the green. So it's a great rule to know and to have in your arsenal, but just be aware that there are limitations that prevent people from abusing this rule. And here's what I mean. So here's my ball right here. You can't even see it on camera because it's in such a horrendous lie in this deep, thick rough, but it's not embedded. And I don't have any interference by this cart path. So in this scenario, if I chose to play this ball left-handed, I would be denied relief because the decision to play this shot left-handed is just flat out unreasonable. The only reason why I would ever try to play this ball left-handed would be solely to get relief from this cart path to escape this bad lie. And that's what makes it unreasonable and why relief would be denied. So I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, do me a huge favor and like this video. It really helps the channel out. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video.